And the wind will also bring in coastal flooding, moderate coastal flooding, maybe even a few pockets of major coastal flooding with this one. And what's very unusual about this storm, I think this is the most unique thing, we have so much harbor ice right now along the shoreline, the wind is really going to move that around, and that can become damaging, almost like a projectile. So we'll be watching those ice chunks getting shoved around the freezing spray, and the high tide to watch is between noon and 2 p.m., so early afternoon all along the coast. That's where we find Pamela Gardner. That's where she'll be tracking the coastal impacts for this storm, and Pamela, definitely a prepare for the outage type of situation here on the shoreline. Yeah, absolutely, Eric. We're out here with the mobile weather lab for the duration of this storm. And the sun has set. It's low tide now here in Situate. And what was a beautiful afternoon earlier today, the sun was out, temperatures were near 30 degrees, and everyone across the town took time to prepare, and they're taking this storm seriously. It was a last minute rush to work on the seawalls in Situate. They've raised the height on many of them, but town officials are not mincing words about this storm. We're recommending the people out in the ocean, in the coastal floodplain, those people to leave. Uh, we're recommending no later than 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. The big concern, this ice buildup, being smashed by the waves. It's going to become projectiles during the high tide. So we're concerned about the homes on the ocean. We're recommending they board up their home. That's what Rick Willard is doing. Putting up boards on our back windows because the entire back here is all windows and we're worried mostly of the uh, ice coming over the, the wall. Mm -hmm. We also expect flooding on either side of high tide, which is at 1240 tomorrow afternoon. And all along the coast, the watchword is caution. We have our extension cords out. We're getting gas for the generator. Um, just doing those basic preparations, calling a neighbor who's ill and making sure she has um, her generator ready because she's on oxygen. Do you think the wall will help now that it's elevated? Oh, yes. Uh, this wall just went in this year, and it's two, two and a half feet higher, and it's much thicker. And everyone's keeping their fingers crossed that that wall does its job, and hopefully that little bit of elevation there will protect residents from the worst of the flooding in situate. And we are going to expect um, perhaps prepare for the worst, hope for the best, something like that. So the town has opened at Situate High School a potential place for you to go to stay if you need. It opens tomorrow at 7 a.m. David and Lisa, as I toss it back to you, mine at light is in the background here, and it's blinking 143. Tomorrow we won't be able to see it, unfortunately, as the storm moves across. Yeah, it's